my channel. So today I thought I would film a back to school essentials video. So seeing as though school is coming back around, I thought I would share with you guys some of my favourite products to bring to school and tips and tricks to help you look fresh and amazing at school when we all know that it's like really highly impossible. But you know, we're going to try and look good this year because we always want to improve what we did last year. I'm going to start off with the more boring kind of products in the beauty kind of category. So it is deodorant. These ones are both from Rexona, I just realised, but they make good deodorant, I guess. So this one I have it open because I'm currently going through the red flavour, but it's just the deodorant that you like twist up and you apply under your underarms and it really, really does stop sweating. So if you have problems with really bad sweating, then I put this on before school and then apply this one on top of it and then during out the day apply this again and this one just to touch up. I wouldn't really use this one as an all over body spray because it doesn't really make you smell good. It just kind of helps you stop sweating as much and this one is an active 48 hour antiperspirant and this is just an antiperspirant deodorant but together I love them together. I think that's what I do. Okay now that we're kind of on like the smelling and stopping sweating so something else that you can get to make you smell good or to hide your smell is perfumes. So I have four options here for you guys because who doesn't like a little bit of options. So I have this Impulse Perfume in an Aerosol Spray. If you're not really a fan of bringing your glass bottle of perfume or a traveler or something like that, then an Impulse Spray is really, really good and these are only like $3.00. But you probably go through this really, really easily. I haven't used this one. I've had it for quite a while. I don't know if you can remember it being in one of my old, old Priceline hauls. But yeah, I haven't used it yet. So I think I'll take this one to school. So now I have three perfume options. And all three of these are the same perfume. But I'm just using this kind of as a reference. So the first option you have is a Travelo if you don't want to bring your glass bottle into school. Which is really, really understandable. And it's quite small and you can just fit it kind of in anyway. So you can put this like in your bag, in your pencil case, in your pocket for instance. I've done that before. Um, just fill it up with your favourite perfumes. So yeah, I think that's a really, really good idea. You can get these for like $20 at Priceline, but I'd probably wait until you could get it on sale. But I think you can get them for like $3 on eBay. So I don't know, whatever you guys want to do. Then another little more cuter version is just like the Viva La Juicy kind of bottles. And I know that you can get different branded little perfume bottles. This one doesn't have a spray, which can be kind of inconvenient, but the little bottle makes it convenient for school. And you can put that as well in your pocket, in your pencil case. I probably keep this one in my pencil case just because it's glass and I don't want it to like shatter if I sit down. And the last one is a more like big version, but like an appropriate school size. It's got a spray which is really convenient and this will probably last a while if you just leave it in your bag and apply it like when you're getting changed or whenever you feel like you need to smell good or to put in your locker because it's not huge that it's really really bulk and really inconvenient. It's just a really nice cute little size. You always 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 need a lip balm. I know heaps of people already carry lip balms to school. This one is the Chapstick Strawberry Lip Balm. I haven't used this one in particular but I really like the cake batter ones in that from Chapstick. Chapstick. Um, yeah, I don't know, just chapsticks are always just there. And I probably bring two because everyone always asks for a chapstick. Like, do you have a lip balm? So I don't know, maybe bring one for you and one for someone else. I'm not really a fan of the strawberry flavor, so I probably bring the strawberry flavor for someone else. Then I feel like you can't go to school without a pocket mirror. I have two, but I usually only take one. So these are just the elf ones. They're not the best, but they do the job. They're only like two dollars or something like that which is a crazy cool price for a pocket mirror there is a magnified side and just a normal side and legit i get asked to borrow this by my group of friends so a pocket mirror is pretty good and pretty convenient especially for applying chapstick and lip balm when you don't want to get it all over your face really really good and if you wear makeup to school just to see how your makeup is sitting the last items before we get into the makeup side of things so these ones I just got because the sizing and I've had these ones for a while and I just recommend the sizes and the products. I don't necessarily recommend this brand and this type of product. So I'm just going to let you guys know what products they are and why I recommend them. So both of them are obviously from Simple. So the first one is the Kind of Skin Smoothing Facial Toner. If you don't have a little bottle of like makeup remover maybe you could get an empty bottle and pour some in there. But if not you can have this. 
lips and this is a toner and it kind of just gets the makeup off as well but it's not as good as a makeup remover but still it does the job and then the last thing is a bottle of moisturizer the moisturizer can come in handy for your face and for your legs I know a lot of people like to moisturize their legs and a lot of people forget before school and I am one of those people so to bring a bottle of moisturizer to school is really really good and having a little travel size kind of thing is really good to fit in your bag because it's not as bulky so I think that's a really really smart idea this part is the makeup section obviously if you're a girl you bring all your like feminine hygiene products but I'm not really gonna go into that like everybody knows that you bring that just be prepared so usually when you go out on the trip you take a lot of makeup but it's school so you need to calm down on that makeup and only bring a few items so I literally just picked out a few items and put it in this like Ted Baker style bag that I got. So the first one is obviously an eyelash curler. If you don't wear mascara to school because you're not allowed to, an eyelash curler is always a great thing to bring because you can always just like pump those lashes up and make it look like you have mascara on or make it look like your lashes are existent. Then the next thing is obviously a mascara. You can always top up your makeup with this or just reapply. This one here is the Max Factor Experience Volumizing Mascara and I absolutely love this mascara for school. Personally, at my school we're not really allowed to wear makeup but if I do wear a mascara it's obviously this one because this one is really, really natural. If you're allowed to wear makeup at school then bring obviously your best mascara. Then I have two lip glosses because lip glosses are something that you can get away with wearing at a school that you're not allowed makeup and a school that you are allowed makeup. I know that I would bring lip glosses and most of the time it's easy to bring more miniature ones. So these are the ones I recommend because both of them I absolutely love. This one, the Sugar Balm by Benefit, I'm actually wearing my lips right now. But the other one is the Chi Chi lip gloss. And the whole range of Chi Chi ones are really, really nice. I just particularly prefer this pinky semi one because I think it gives you a really nice like colouring. And it sits nicely on the lips. Both of these sit nicely on the lips and I couldn't recommend these ones even more than I already have. Then the last two items are pretty simple, so a brush that you can kind of apply powder with or foundation and blend everything, so a multi-purpose for brush, and you can probably bring a powder brush, but I don't really wear that much makeup to school, and I know that this would work with the powder that I am bringing, so whatever brushes work with whatever products you're bringing, then that would be fine, so this is just a non-branded kabuki brush, like it's kind of angled as you can see and then the powder because I think you need a powder because that can top up things like make your makeup look fresh and kind of stop oiliness coming through but if you're not allowed to wear makeup to school obviously bring like oil blotting sheets if you have really bad problems with blotting or just wash your face whenever you can so the powder I bring is the Maybelline Matte Maker one because I know this powder makes my makeup look nice and fresh or like redone or it also stops oil and I know that during out the school day even I get oil like around there so I'm just going to show you a little demonstration of what I do so I just tap the brush in there and I just tap it around my nose like if I'm getting oily there or just like wherever I'm getting oily or sweaty or something I just feel like powder helps that okay so that was a super simple video for you guys and it's just a few products and tips to help you get through the next school year so I hope you guys survive this year of school and I'll catch you in my next video bye